Next up, we have uh, Ravina Velashia from Amazon, been instrumental in uh, starting this, uh, working together with everybody here, uh, reading countless uh, applications and personally uh, being involved in the selection of, of everybody you see behind me. Uh, Ravina, uh, welcome, congrats, inclusive product management champion. Share your why, please. I'll just, I'll talk. You guys can look at my photo. That was pre-COVID, so my hair was relaxed. It's, I'm natural now for um, all the Black women who went through quarantine with me. Um, yeah, so super excited to be able to just see you guys in a room. I, I think um, the energy around this steering committee and this accelerator has been pretty exciting. Um, you know, I think similar to many people, I, I met Jeffrey, I think through LinkedIn, uh, when he reached out. But, you know, for me, I think as a black woman who's I've been at Amazon and in tech for over 10 years, but I'm from the south side of Chicago, the first person in my family to graduate college, also got my MBA, and I had to do a lot of things as the first in my family. And, and, you know, I have a lot of family support and, and love and encouragement, but as far as direction or connection or open doors, I really had to do that through networking and building community. Um, and so for me, it's very important that, you know, I am able to pull up more chairs. Like I, I never want to be in an environment where, you know, people are like, oh, Ravina, you're so awesome. I'm like, nope. I know 10 more people who are as awesome or more awesome than me. Um, and so I think being able to pull up more chairs and and create, you know, opportunity for others is really important for professionals of minority backgrounds. You know, I, I think when you look at even black owned companies or minority owned companies, where's our succession planning? Like, why aren't we handing things down generation and building more people up? Like we're just selling companies off instead of uh, building it. And so it's something very dear to my like entrepreneurial spirit to to see just the, the opportunity of opening doors for others. And so I think in, in this organization in particular, um, being in product is just all about problem solving, figuring out how to get beyond roadblocks, um, having good networking skills and getting the most from your cross-functional partners. It's all of the, the grit and the skill set that like people of color have needed to get things done like our entire lives. So I think innately many of us have been product managing things uh, all over, you know, our our day-to-day -day lives. So I think it's a very um, exciting career path to bring this diverse perspective into because we've been problem solving in creative ways culturally and generationally like all over the world um, and so you know I've spent probably six six months of my time on this committee on maternity leave so um, you know I've, I've gone through a lot of uh, applications and, and been able to read and understand who you guys are I'm hoping in the the next few few months and the next few cohorts, I can be a little more involved on the on the day to day as I'm getting back into work life and and sitting at a screen and all those things. Um, but you know, I think it's important that we just continue to invite others and, and make it so that like Diego, you can continue to have some of these bizarre experiences where um, teams and dynamics are are more more mixed and more diverse um, and we can see women, men, minorities, families, just people who are able to have successful professional lives while also holding on to important parts of their cultural identity and personal identity. So, um, you know, I want to be a Black woman in tech who's working on things not focused on Black people, but just solving problems. Um, and, and I think once our perspective is just a part of the everyday perspective and not a part of the um, let's do something diversity focused perspective, like we'll actually start building bigger and better things um, across the board. So thanks for letting me like drop in and see all of you guys. And I'm definitely looking forward to continuing to see what, what everyone does after this experience. You could transform a life, you can inspire the next generation, and you could build a better future. We want you to do that with us here at the Product Management Center. We want you to do that uh, through the Inclusive Product Management Accelerator, uh, through the How to Succeed in Product Management podcast. And we're going to keep going until we've built the future. So let us know how you would want to work with us, uh, again, as we build a more inclusive, uh, diverse, and skilled product management community and work together to build a better future.